Okay, <clears throat> so we are up to day 148, I believe. Yeah, going through my old journal. The quote for today says, once a year, go someplace you've never been before. It says, write about a few places you want to go but have never been before. Why do you want to go there and what do you want to see? So I've traveled quite a bit, so this should be pretty interesting. Um, so yeah, if you're following along, go ahead and take a minute to think about how you might respond to this. And let's see what I said. So I said, I've traveled quite a bit. I've been all across Europe, a couple places in Africa, traveled across most of the US, spent some time in Iceland, Costa Rica, Myanmar. After all of that, I've sort of lost the travel bug for the time being, at least in terms of wanting to go to new places. When I think of where I'd like to travel, I think of going places I've already been. I'd like to go back to Iceland, Myanmar, Costa Rica, Spain, etc., and experience them all over again. I feel like I've grown and changed a lot since the first time I went to those places, so I feel like the experience would be completely different. Also, since I'm older, I like to feel more comfortable when I travel. <laughs> when I was young, I was a bit wild and reckless. Now I prefer more comfort and stabi stability. And then I have in parentheses and thankfully I can uh, afford it. I said revisiting places I've already been would provide more comfort since I've already since I'd already be somewhat familiar with the cities and culture. At some point, I'll likely want to branch out and see more, but for now, I'd like to get, I think I said get, I'd like to get more immersed in places that I've already been. So yeah, that was kind of what I thought. And especially at that time, like, I guess the last few times I traveled to new places, I didn't really enjoy it as much because I don't know, as I've gotten older, my anxiety has gotten a little bit worse. And so just like going to a new place and having to figure out like how to get around and, you know, kind of get my bearings in a new place is just kind of been stressful for me. So yeah, I, I feel like if, I, if I'm going to travel, I would want to go to places that I've already been and try to just experience them in a different way. And I will say like, you know, a lot of people say you need to branch out and travel and experience the world. And so I think I took that in and tried to do that as much as I could when I was younger. Um, you know, I just kind of lucked out and got the ability to travel to a bunch of places when I was young and then in college and, um, you know, just through like study abroad programs and, and things like that. And just, you know, um, a person that I dated previously, he was kind of in that time where he hadn't traveled much and he wanted to travel. So I ended up doing quite a bit of traveling with him. But I mean, really, like, I think I do kind of envy those people that seem to be able to travel on their own and get enjoyment out of it. But I think a lot of traveling, like, I'm not to that place yet, I don't think. Like, I've tried it a few times. I've tried, a, like, just going off on my own and going places. And it just didn't feel, like, as enjoyable as I... I thought it would be so I I do think for most people some of the enjoyment especially if you're more introverted um I think it comes from like being with someone that you enjoy being with and you trust and you feel comfortable with and you, you can have fun together because if you've got two people there it just two or more people it seems to just kind of enhance the experience I think in my you know um in my experience and um yeah it does have to be with someone that you're comfortable with and you trust and you feel safe with because you know this one person that I did quite a bit of traveling with I felt like it was a lot of pressure on me because they weren't really they wanted to travel but they weren't really active in like planning anything or you know in this one case we took this really long road trip we um 
across the US and I didn't feel like I could trust them to drive because, you know, when I just got too tired to drive and they would drive, they were constantly like talking about how tired they were or like scrolling on their phone while they were driving, which I didn't feel comfortable with. And so I ended up for the majority of the trip just doing most of the driving and I was just like exhausted of having to drive, plan where we were going to stop and, you know, all of this stuff. And so that kind of took some of the enjoyment away um but also in terms of going places like I see a lot of people doing this and I am definitely guilty of it of like traveling to show off the fact that I'm traveling you know um because it is something that I think a lot of people like hold up in high esteem like oh if you're able to travel then you know I don't know because not everybody around here travels and so I felt like that was something that kind of like made me different but at the same time I don't feel like I was taking in as much of the experience as I could have been or should have been because I was more like looking at it of like oh what can I tell people about this when I get back home or what photos can I take to show people that I'm like in this other place in this other country um and yeah like I I'm kind of embarrassed a little bit because like whenever I did go to Mozambique I think I had more like I did there was always some element you know when I was traveling in my 20s of me wanting to like experience the culture and learn about things but I feel like I would get more out of it now because I was like wanting to do that but then also wanting to like get photos and show like you know I'm here in Africa look at you know look at me and what what do they call that there's a word for that like something tourism where you know a lot of like people might go on you know mission trips or or things like that to show that they're like doing this good deed in these developing countries and things like that and um yeah I don't know I mean I did get gain from going to all these places um but I just I wish I could go and like take more in I guess especially when I was in Myanmar too um that is the one place that I would really want to go back to because I really liked Myanmar but I wasn't <laughs> I don't feel like I was in like the best like state to take in as much as I could because I was there kind of working and um, I didn't have a lot of money and so I couldn't really go out and do all of these different things um, because yeah you can you can travel very cheaply but it it still limits you in you know kind of what you're able to do and what you're able to experience and see and with me not having a super outgoing personality some people with like outgoing personalities that can just make friends and you know connect with people wherever they are yeah they could probably travel super cheap and and have a good time but for me that's a little bit harder to connect with people um and so yeah i i don't think that's that's as easy for me <laughs> and um Yeah, anyway, so I don't know. I think if I were going to travel again, I would be a lot more intentional about where I was going and I would spend some more time like beforehand learning about the place so that I could, you know, get learn more about the place that I'm going while I'm there. Because if I have a little bit of background before I go, then, you know, I don't know. I'm kind of rambling, but I guess maybe some people do have in their head the places that they, you know, maybe this one place that they really want, want to go. And I'm just right now, like traveling isn't my, my focus, I guess. And I've noticed as I've gotten older, I, I just want to like get settled, I guess. And I've mentioned before that I, I just all, for some reason, I always just thought like, you know, 
Arkansas isn't for me. Like this isn't the place I want to stay. I always assumed I would end up somewhere else, like in a, in a big city somewhere or in some other country. And I may end up in some other country eventually. Um, just kind of depending on things go around here, um, in the U.S. But I mean, I wish things felt a little bit more stable here because I do like where I live right now and I don't really feel the need to want to get out and leave like I used to. Um, I could see myself settling here and staying here, but there's just like a few things that are up in the air that make me kind of hesitant to get fully settled here. So I don't know. I think my roommate wants to travel a little bit because he hasn't really been that many places. And so we're kind of thinking that after I finish my dissertation, maybe we'll spend some time just going around and traveling. And in that sense, I probably would want to go places that I've already been before. And it would probably be like fun for me because I'm already comfortable in some of these places. And, you know, it would be fun to like see him experience, you know, the new things there. Um, but yeah, I don't know for right now, like, uh, like I said, I've, I've kind of lost my, my travel bug for now. Um, but I've also got a lot of stuff going on. So maybe, you know, later on it'll come back, but I don't know. Once a year, go someplace you've never been before. I don't know what I'd say to that too is it doesn't have to be like another country I you know or just like this far away place you there's probably a lot of places like near where you live or within you know like a short driving distance that you could go that would be new and a new experience so I think you shouldn't like leave out you know kind of more local places just that you've never been so I don't know. I don't, that's not a very good response for that, but I guess that's, that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, but yeah, I will be back tomorrow with day 149.